Good day, everybody. It is currently Tuesday, the 16th of October, 2012. And, well, we are still watching Typhoon Pramparoon just here towards the southeast of Okinawa. And this one will not just go away. It actually has been lingering out here for over a week now, continuing to meander its track, kind of looking something, not exactly, but something like this as it continues to move off there towards the north. But meanwhile... We also have a Maria just here towards the east of Paraparoon. I expect this one to remain rather disorganized. It actually is at a very relatively close location to Paraparoon. I think a lot of it's just going to get sheared off from this as it continues to track off there towards the north. So no real worry with this one as it continues to remain in some hostile areas for further development with it. But also, uh, as we take a look across portions of northeastern China, some snow up there, but on the way other side of the map, down to 160 and 170 east, is uh, this area of cloud cover. And the reason why I bring this one up, well, it does look like in the long range, it could continue to track west, 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 and eventually towards the Philippines given some model outlooks at this time. I want to be for about a week from now, but one thing that we're going to continue to watch. First, Praparoon or Nina, if you are here in the Philippines, or 22W, uh, if you are one of those people that only watch JTWZ. And if you are one of those people, that is a big fail on your part because JTWC actually has not been so accurate on this particular storm system. None of the agencies really have, and that is why here on our updates at Western Pacific Weather, we show you the various agencies and also the various models. But what can I say about the storm system now? It actually looks like it's slowly weakening. You can see that earlier on today, it had this big burst of convection around the center of circulation. Actually, looks like it intensified for a short period of time, but now a very rugged eye wall. Still an eye is there, but it is rugged and falling apart. Outflow still fairly decent, though, coming in from the south and definitely from the north. You have a trough up there kind of pulling on it, allowing for decent outflow. But the sea surface temperatures are cooling under the storm system for two reasons. It has gradually moved towards the north, but the other reason... As the storm continues to just spin here, basically, over this particular portion of ocean, upwelling it starts to bring in that water from below it and thus starting to slowly cool off. But right now, slowly drifting off towards the west and almost stationary, actually. Pressure has actually risen from earlier today. It was at 955 HPA, now up to 960 HPA, according to the Japan Meteorological Agency. We'll take a look at this track. You see it just kind of swivels off here. Actually did a little loop earlier on today, and now it's heading back there towards the west. Uh, right there. It does look like it's going to eventually move towards the west, and then start to recurve back off towards the northeast. Where I'm drawing right in here is where I think it's actually going to affect right now. Now, with that said, if it does take this particular track, uh, Okinawa, you still want to watch this storm system very closely. Some gusty winds even. Possibly upwards about 50 knots, which is usually about the threshold for a possible destructive winds or at least some sort of damage. Very well could occur here. Now, JTWC, on the other hand, they expect it to basically linger here through the 17th, just towards the southeastern portion of Okinawa, before starting to eventually move off there towards the north. And then on the 18th, going into the latter part of the week on Wednesday and a Thursday, it's just shooting off and jetting off. Uh, towards the northeast, not really affecting much of uh, Japan here. So I guess with that said, rough seas are definitely going to be expected across the southeastern portions of the southern Japanese islands. Also, you have the Daito Islands right here, just towards the southeast of Okinawa. Anybody on those ones or plan on traveling to those ones are going to be in for a rough ride as the storm system continues to linger. Now, uh, my thoughts though, once again with JMA, I do think that this is going to pull off here towards the west and then pull back here towards the northeast, getting a little bit closer uh, to Okinawa than what JTWC is expecting, but good news is that JTWC is not expecting that quick recurvature that they were expecting when the storm system was down here. Actually, about two to three days ago, uh, they actually expected it to just basically shoot off here towards the northeast, not even lingering here, but by this time actually starting to move into an extra tropical phase. Uh, when JMA was actually expecting it to kind of shift off here towards the north, towards Okinawa, and then shift off there towards the northeast. So hats off to JMA on their track forecasting in the past several days. But nonetheless, as you can see with the previous, over the past several days, it is nearly impossible to forecast this many wobbles with such a slow-moving storm system. So I guess with that said, uh, you definitely want to take a look at this cone of air from the east and towards the west. 
that is where the storm system very well could possibly still go. So Okinawa, I know that the uh, military base have put you into a T-Core 3, and I think that is absolutely smart. Uh, good news is that many of the buildings out here, and everybody's just already well aware of the uh, storms and the implications of these storms, as we have seen with Samba, Bullivan, and Jellowat so far this year. And actually, if this one just moves towards the southeast by the latter part of this week, it will be just basically a breeze compared to those ones, but do not let your guard down. I think that is one of the main implications of this. Do not let your guard down. Now, this is all the model consensus moving off here towards the west, then pulling towards the northeast. Good news is many of the agencies are in agreement now with the model consensus moving off there towards the northwest, then towards the northeast, just pending on how close it does get to the southern Japanese islands. And that is the main difference between JTWC and JMA. But this is the waves out here across the western Pacific. You can see these are actually in feet down here towards the bottom. And the important thing to note with this one is that you have these waves crashing into Okinawa and the southern Japanese islands upwards of 12 to 15 feet high. So do not venture out towards the beaches. Do not even try to tempt to go surfing, especially with a storm this close. A surf probably will not even be worth attempting to try to surf and because it's just going to be too rough and too choppy. Meanwhile, we also have Maria off here just towards the east. Let's take a look at what JMA is still expecting with this one to do. That is basically get a move on. Do not become a typhoon, but just move off there towards the north. Stay at that tropical storm intensity. Affect the Osagawa Islands and possibly the Izu Islands, which is part of Tokyo Prefecture. So I guess possibly affecting Tokyo if it does hit some of these islands. And moving quickly off there towards the northeast. This is a three-day, not a five-day outlook. That trough off there uh, just towards the south of Japan really is going to have a strong impact on the storm system. So I guess with that fed, four to 3,000 people that live out across these islands, well, you're going to see some gusty winds for a short period of time, but it's nothing that's going to be too significant. So uh, really t uh, discounting Maria at this time, I would more concentrate on my thoughts of that area down near 160 to 170 degrees east. And that's what takes me back to this. You have the CMC, UK, No Gaps, GFS, all expecting development here around 165 east and then pushing off there towards the west. But look off towards the Philippines into the, uh, the latter part of this week, into the weekend. And then in the early part of next week, that's what that's indicating right there is a possible landfall of a fairly significant tropical system, particularly Let's take a look at GFS and what they're showing uh, going through the weekend. And here you can see the, our Praparoon continuing to linger this there towards the southeast of Okinawa. Then we go by the weekend, it starts to finally get a move on, but then take a look down near the Philippine Sea. There's our storm system that we're currently watching there, 165 East. So that's just kind of a side note at this time. Still over five days out to continue to watch this one. If it does develop at all, will it head there towards the west? Still not sure, but we're definitely going to continue to keep an eye on here at Western Pacific Weather. So please stay safe out there, everybody. Thanks again for watching. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please post them in the comment box below. And as always, stay safe and have a great day. Bye.